Hi everyone, how are you doing again? This is your boy, Rude Boy, aka KP. Alright, today we'll just be doing a simple, simple uh, example and see where we'll be using an infinite loop to monitor an event. And then we'll uh, uh, try to control the memory so that the memory manager doesn't destroy our hard disk okay so here we go right now i have uh, these basic header files here i've also included the time header file because we will be using some specialized time functions and this time function has uh, structures that we're going to use which is why we set up this structure variable here right now the name of the structure is tm this is available in the time header file all right here we have a now variable this is a time variable now let's set up the infinite loop that's we're going to be using to monitor for an event in this case we'll just be monitoring for a time event when we reach a certain time we want to get a beep or something that says hey you've reached the time that you have set you you wanted to monitor for okay let's start uh, first we'll just create some variables in the main function Then we'll ask you to in the user to input the uh, the hour and minutes that they want to monitor for the one um, the computer they keep looking for. that we're looking for let's have a line break here gonna clear the screen yeah all right so we're done with the main function let's go into the while loop the while loop is an infinite loop and it's only going to break out of this loop when the conditions have been met okay first you have to initialize the time function with your time variable um, we have to initialize our pointer variable here the right now pointer we have to initialize that as well That's going to be equal to the local uh, local time. This is just a function in C that's available for you to use. 
this function in this function there's a structure and that structure you, you can is broken down into uh, like uh, day month hour minute year and you can individually uh, have access to each one of those members in that structure Alright, here we see if if our is equal to TM oh, I'm sorry, I didn't go to right now variable since it's a pointer we use the arrow operator and the member is TM hour that's the name of the member in that structure and that structure is found in this local time function okay there's no big mystery there and minutes is equal to right now pointer arrow pointer tm underscore minutes see that's a variable tm underscore let's see it again tm underscore m i yep that's it right there okay so once those two things are true what we want to do is we want to print the fact that the desire we have a time match i'm just going to say time and a to time match that is found time match found and we are just going to print the system time whatever the default system time is we're just going to uh, activate that and then we're going to be our break out of this loop that's the only way out of this loop through that break keyword else what we're going to do here is pretty straightforward we are going to free free the memory that was uh, the memory of all right now we're going to free that up because once you're in this loop, right, you're going to be going around in this loop, round and around and around. You have your, you have to in, initialize the time. This is going to grab the time from the system. And the local time function depends on this variable. That's going to, uh, it uses that variable time now to do its thing. Uh, the memory location of is going to be saved in it right now the memory location of this this time function with all of its with the structures and all of its member is going to be assigned to right now and that is how you access these members to access these members that's the pointer and that's the member you want to access that's the pointer and that's the member you want to or so you want to look at it it's going to contain the hour in this member and this member is the minutes okay once that's done we are pretty much done uh, we are pretty much done with this 
program. Let's save, compile. Save, compile. Okay, so it compiled cleanly. And let's run it. Right now the time is 11 57 now the ta this local time function returns GMT time so that is let's run it enter hour 11 which is 23 and enter minutes minutes would be 58 and okay it's in the while loop right now let's bring this oh there it is time match found so that happened really quickly. Let's try it again. All right. Let's try it again. Mm, I will wait. Uh, enter hour twenty three. That's in that's eleven, and enter minutes. We will look for 59. So 11:59 should get an alarm. This is it here. Five, four, three, two, one. And there it is, time match found. And that is how you write a program using an infinite loop to, mark, to look for an event. Once that event takes place, the loop is broken and program ends. And that's a fun way to use an infinite loop. Have fun guys. Thank you and happy times coding.